Hey guys, welcome to Cyborg Kitty. In this video, we are going to talk about where do I belong? Not in a philosophical sense, of course. I guarantee you this video does not have any of where do you belong, but we are talking about where do I belong as in JavaScript, where do I belong in pre-code camp algorithms. Um, so what they want us to do is write up a function which is going to try and find the second argument position in the first argument. So Basically, let's uh, talk about number lines here. So what I want us to do is, um, let's just say we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, right? And then they want us to find the second argument. Let's say second argument is 2.5. So if you see, it's not before 0, it's not before 1, it's not before 2 either, but it's actually before 3. And they want us to send this numbers index in that array so that's simply put what they want us to do of course another thing they did mention is if the array itself is jumbled up like this make sure you actually sort it out so we have it almost in a number line representation and then figure out where this uh, the second element fits so first thing we're going to do of course is we have to sort the function out so I'm going to go ahead and manipulate the input a little bit so we can uh, see how sort function works out too. So let's give 9 and oh, I'm going to add another number, 10. All right, so let's simply sort it. So we're going to do array sort. Okay, so if we actually do a simple sort, not doing a callback function, just doing sort itself and return the array that's an interesting thing so you see how what do you would expect if you're sorting a bunch of numbers is like okay 2 3 9 and 10 but if you see it actually does 10 2 3 and 9 that is because the way the sort method on its own does is it actually compares the first character first and be like okay 1 is before 2 3 and 9 so i'm going to put 1 and then do the second digit almost like an alphabetical order sorting but for numbers um, so to avoid that, what we're going to do is we're going to use callback function. So the way sort does, it compares two elements at a time. So for any point or time where two elements are A and B, we want it to return A minus B. Okay, what, what's going on here? So what's happening is it's actually checking A and B. And if A minus B value is whatever, it's going to sort the two elements based on that return value. So basic rules is if the return value is less than zero, make sure A is less index than B. If it's greater than zero, make sure A has higher index than B, and if it is equal to zero, do nothing. That's pretty much it. So for example, in here, if we do 10 and 9, and as per this logic, it does 10 minus 9, it sees 1, and be like, okay, I'm getting 1, so which means I want to make sure A, which is 10, has a higher value than B, which is 9. So if you run it, you can see it's doing the reverse. There we go. So 10 minus 9, it gets 1. It makes sure that 0 is it's greater than 0. Make sure that A has higher index than B. So index of A right now is 0 and B is 1. So it makes sure A has higher index than B and then swaps it. So you actually get an ascending order. But if you do want to see what happens if you reverse it, of course, as expected, it actually does the descending order instead because at which point, 9 minus 10 is minus 1. And what I want to do is I want to make sure A has lower index than B and then reverse the whole thing. Yeah, that's a little bit about sort function, but we really don't care about it right now. We're just going to do A minus B because we do want it in an ascending order. And like I mentioned before, sort actually manipulates the main input array itself. So we have everything sorted in a descending order right in here. I'm just going to use one of the examples here. Perfect. Now that we have this, the next thing we want to do is somehow find the position of it in the number line that we just sorted out in this array. So like the initial math, we know that 
anything that returns a positive value when you minus it with second value it's it's always before that in the sense so if you take 35 and you do 35 minus 10 we get a positive value 35 minus 20 still yields positive 35 minus 30 we get something left but when you do 35 minus 40 we get a negative value so that is the first biggest number we hit from left to right in an array and we know that is the index that we want as per this logic so let's quickly write up a loop here so we can loop through each element for where i equal to zero i less than array dot length i plus plus so we got an array here we are looping through and then if current number minus current element in the array is less than or equal to zero we know we hit the number that's either equal to that point or greater than that the first greater than number when we're going from a sorted array left to right at which point we want to return the index because that's the index that we want so there we go return i so again the way return works is as soon as you use a return uh, element in there it's just gonna ensure that the value is returned and breaks the loop oh what did we do wrong here oh yeah i got an extra bracket there there we go perfect all right so in any case let's say it actually went through this whole array it's 55 so it's positive all the time and never get to go through this loop then by default we are just going to return the last value which is going to be the highest index there and uh, break there pretty much so that's all the function does uh, once again the way sort works is if this is a negative value it's make sure a comes before b if it is a positive value it makes sure b comes before a so it swaps it out so just going to do it one more time so if it is 40 minus 40 and 50 it's 40 minus 50 which is minus 10 so it makes sure a comes before b but if you had 50 and 40 and that's a different situation because then it does 50 minus 40 it's a positive value it makes sure b comes before a so it will swap it out and then we'll have an of course an actual descending order numbers there we go so let's just run it perfect so it works fine so again all we did was sorted it out so we have almost in a number line representation and we find the index of it by trying to find that first largest number that the loop hits where the number is actually larger than the second element that we passed in and then just return that index so that's all about uh, where where do I belong um, and I hope you really enjoyed this video if you did please do hit that like button and if you want to see more of my videos do subscribe to my channel cyborg kitty I will see you on my next video with some more challenges and solutions and thanks guys thanks for watching and have uh, have fun coding I'll see you next time bye